And we've gotten some details about Season 1 of Diablo 4. I'm going to go over really quickly information, and then I'll get into my own personal thoughts afterwards. So first of all, it is called Season of Malignant, and it does drop in two weeks on July 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Now, we are also getting six new uniques and seven new legendary aspects. Hold me on this, but I'm pretty sure these are going straight into the Eternal Realm. Not playing Seasons. Should have something new to look forward to. And possibly getting some more information on these on the 18th, because we actually don't know anything about these items yet. Hopefully, some more info coming on the 18th, as I mentioned here. Now, moving into the actual seasonal stuff. First of all, again, it's called Season of Malignant, and they are new monsters called Malignant Monsters. These are going to be essentially going to be partly corrupted malignant monsters. Kill these will drop their malignant heart, which you can then use the new seasonal item, the Cage of Binding, on to spawn a fully corrupted enemy. If you then kill that enemy, you get a malignant heart to drop. It's going to be 32 of these. Socket them into your jewelry, and they are effectively kind of like gems, but they kind of have like legendary. They're they're effectively legendary aspects you put into jewelry, right? Now on your jewelry. We're going to have colored aspects now. There's going to be three colors of jewelry sockets. There's going to be four colors of malignant hearts. Essentially the three associated colors. And a final fourth color that just goes into any colored jewelry socket, right? And there's also going to be new things called malignant tunnels. These are basically just dungeons where you can target farm for specific malignant heart colors and specific malignant heart effects, right? And there's going to be a new boss associated with this called Varshan the Consumed. Now, other than that, they basically just talked about stuff we already knew. We affirmed things we suspected, stuff like that, right? But if you don't already know, you already completed the campaign. You will be able to skip the campaign in the new season. You will have your mount available right away, of course. And Altars of Lilith and Map Discovery will be season and alts. Every, all your characters will have all that stuff already. Have their renown already on the new seasons. And the stats as well, of course. So you don't have to rerun around the map. Or we go collect all the altars of will. And of course, at the end of the season, seasonal characters and stashes will transfer to the Eternal Realm. The season specific stuff will not function in the Eternal Realm, of course. Now that said, also talked about the Battle Pass. And it does seem like they are sticking to their word of keeping the Battle Pass, the premium Battle Pass, cosmetic only, thankfully. So thank God for that. And they are also adding a new item called the Scroll of Amnesia. Which is essentially just a full skill tree and Paragon board. But no word on if we're getting a, just an individual Paragon board reset, I believe. Uh, which is pretty unfortunate. But hopefully we are getting that. But it seems like they are trying to mitigate it somehow. At least a little bit, right? And that's pretty much it. Except for we did get a new patch today. Which is already out. That makes Helltide Chest drop unique items. Which means you can now target farm unique items in Helltide Chest. And that's basically all the new news for now. Hopefully we'll be getting some more information soon on the 18th. And now as for my personal thoughts. Uh, honestly, I'm pretty excited overall. New season stuff looks good. And we'll hopefully make you know, the season building pretty fun and exciting. Uh, my only real concern is this right here. So the rest of the action RPG uh, industry, I guess, use the seasons to basically try out a new mechanic and see if they want it the game permanently. And it does seem like from the wording here that Blizzard is still not intending to do this. Th this is just such a missed opportunity by Blizzard. It essentially offered themselves an, offered themselves an opportunity to build on their game, make their game better. Expand their game, expand their end game, expand the way pe plays people can play, the way people can, you know, make their build unique and fun and interesting, and they're just throwing it in the garbage. Uh, which is, well, is what we expected, to be fair. So, not really anything new here. But hopefully, you know, you know, maybe see, you know, a community outcry and get some of these seasonal mechanics into the permanent game and we can slowly build up a bigger and better Diablo 4 but remains to be seen and I actually do say I think this seasonal mechanic would probably be a pretty good one to add into the game permanently now obviously only the artifacts will probably need to be toned down they're probably way too strong to have in the game permanently but 
just tone these down and make them permanent and i think all of a sudden build crafting gets a lot more interesting and especially jewelry sockets get a lot more interesting because as of right now basically the only thing that's worth putting in jewelry sockets is schools the rest of the gems just give you elemental resistance and right frankly uh they suck <laughs> The elemental resistance gems give you nothing. The scaling is way too harsh. And they have said they're planning to rework this, but who knows how that's going to work when that's going to happen. Or even if they're still going to be worth running after that, right? And I suspect most people will still just run schools anyways. Or the flat armor. So I, I just feel like the way Jewelry Suck is now is really boring, and this would be a good way to just permanently make that not an issue, but I don't really see it happening. Um... But yeah, that's going to be it from me. Let me know how you guys feel about it, what you're thinking, and uh, be a friend's video. As always, take it easy and have a good day. I'll catch you guys in the next video.